a uh, very good way to teach kids a new song, especially new, or to review one that you've done for a while, is to incorporate some kind of visual aid and especially things that help them move where they can add their hands as well as their voices. And this is the old song, Five Green and Speckled Frogs, how I do it. I just take advantage of the fact that I have this drum with the, the bands on it. So I can put these little bookmark frogs in it that I made. And then we just sing the song. Five green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were four speckled frogs. So in addition to the music, they're also doing a math activity as well. The other kids who are waiting, I would have a student up here um, doing this. The other students who are waiting would be playing instruments like drums, doing a beat on a drum. Or if you have a frog wero, um, you can do that. That gives you a good frog song and they can still do a beat. So I'll do a beat on the drum while we play it. Do the next part. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Then there were three speckled frogs. So the students would be doing this. And actually, I would ask them before we do the next verse, I would say, now we have three frogs. How many are going to be next if the class is ready for that? So I use a blue scar for anything that's blue to designate a pond. And then anything, you could just put these on the ground if you don't have a log to use and just have them jump it in. You can make it as big or as small as the kids want to do it. 